trivia time. When was the last time an American-born player won the NBA's Most Valuable Player Award? It's not a trick question, friends. You actually have to go back five seasons to the spring of 2018 for the answer. When the game's most coveted individual honor most recently went to a star from the country most synonymous with basketball. Since then, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the son of Nigerian parents who plays under the flag of Greece in Milwaukee, won back-to-back -back MVPs in 2019 and 2020. Serbia's Nikola Jokic, revolutionizing play in the pivot in Denver, then won the next two. That combined run of four MVPs in a row for the Greek freak and the Joker had me convinced coming into the season that the streak would reach at least five for foreign-born stars. Since neither Joel Embiid, Cameroon, nor Luka Doncic, Slovenia, both very due to break through, had even won their first MVP award yet. After Embiid delivered a 59-point game for Philly, and then a 53-point game, Luka reached into his hat and uncorked new levels of magic to close out the calendar year of 2022 with this. Luka! And this. 60 points for the first time in Mavericks history. And then this just a few days later. Tonight, Luka Doncic has 50 points. Take all that into consideration, along with Jokic's gathering steam candidacy for a third straight MVP, and how relentlessly well Giannis is playing too, and it would seem to make things even tougher on the USAers in their own backyard. But the reality is that only some recent injuries have derailed what still might end up being one of the great MVP races in recent memory. Because there are indeed several domestic contenders who refuse to simply give in to the recent European monopoly. The Pelican Zion Williamson was making real MVP headway for the first time until he was thwarted by a hamstring strain. Returning with a vengeance, after an entire season lost to foot surgery to power the upstart Pelicans to the upper reaches of the West, despite the long-term injury absence of Brandon Ingram. From the older guard, Brooklyn's Kevin Durant, Golden State's Stephen Curry, and the Lakers' Anthony Davis likewise played brilliant basketball until health intervened, especially Durant somehow nine seasons removed from his only regular season MVP award, yet possibly playing the best all-around basketball of his life at both ends. The Celtics' Jason Tatum and the Grizzlies' Ja Morant are two more next-gen stars from Zion's generation who have played their way into MVP consideration. Depending on how quickly the likes of KD and Zion bounce back, we could be looking at seven players or more with a legitimate case to win what, as announced in December, has been rebranded the Michael Jordan Trophy. The safe prediction? We're going to need the next few months, all of them, to sort this out.